Danas vam predstavljamo gošću iz Bugarske, velemajstoricu Antonetu Stefanovu, veliko ime ženskog šaha. Odmah ću vam objasniti i zašto. Bila je prvakinja Evrope 2002. godine i prvakinja svijeta 2004. godine. Dobrodošla, Antoneta. Hvala. Ja znam da ti nisi prvi puta u Hrvatskoj, pa te to neću ni pitati, ali mislim da si prvi puta u Opatiji. Prvi put, da. Prvi put, jako lepo mesto, puno mi se sveđa. Today we present you uh, a Grandmaster Antoneta Stefanova from Bulgaria, a great name of uh, woman chess. Uh, I will explain you immediately why. She was a European champion in 2002 and a world champion in 2004. Uh, I asked her, uh, I know that she is not for the first time here in Croatia, but uh, I suppose that he is for the f she is for the first time in Opatia, and uh, I, I guessed well. Uh, her imp uh, impressions are very positive, and uh, she really enjoyed her stay in Opatia. Reci, tvoj početak na turniru nije bio baš sejan, ti si broj jedan po rejtingu na ovom turniru, očekivalo se pobjeda u prvom kolu, međutim, bila je samo remi. A da, da moja protivnica je igrala jako dobro, ja sam imala crne figure, ja mislim da remi nije neka katastrofa, iako naravno ja sam se nadala da počnem sa 100% rezultat, ali ja posle toga sam dobila dve partije, tako da mislim da je sad sve normalno. Uh, her start in the first round was not very successful. Uh, she was obliged to concede a draw to her opponent. Uh, she said that her opponent played really very well that game and uh, it was just nothing to do. Uh, she was black in that game. Međutim, na takim turnirima po švicarskom sistemu sa relativno malim brojem kola, iako je 11 kola dovoljno dugačko, takav start može biti veliki hendike po odnosu na direktne konkurente. Ja mislim da se je danas koja duga distancija, tako da ima vreme, sve će da igramo i među sobom, tako da ja mislim da nije se ništa toliko ozbiljno desilo. Nadam se da ću igrati bolje u sljedeći partiju. I asked her if it's not such a great handicap to consider draw already in round first and if there will be enough time to compensate this loss of half a point uh, and uh, this lag behind her direct rivals for top places in the final standing. She said that uh, there is 11 rounds are just enough to compensate everything and uh, after this first round she managed to win two games in a row and uh, there will be enough uh, direct uh, games between uh, between uh, the opponents for uh, between candidates for the first place and uh, she's rather optimistic about her chances to uh, get uh, the title i na kraju još jedno pitanje koje muči sve nas uh, šahiste a to je ovo novo uvedeno pravilo o nultoj toleranciji kako je tvoje mišljenje ja mislim da je to ok ako turnir ima manje igrača i svi u isti hotel igraju na, na istom mjestu. Zato što e, ovdje su, ne znam, 400-500 ljudi i malo daleko je sala i da idemo autobusom sat ranije je malo, malo nezgodno. A ja mislim da ovo pravilo ima smisla kad je... Recimo mač za svjetsko porazenstvo kad ima direktno, direktno translacija na televizija, a onako ja ne vidim zašto da ne bude tolerans 15 minuta ako se nešto desi sa transport. Ne znam, u principu ja mislim da, da je pravilo interesantno, ali moraju organizatori bolje organizirati transport i smještaj za, za ovo pravilo. Uh, my last question was about uh, a new introduced uh a rule uh, of so-called zero tolerance and uh, uh, I received a, a response which I expected to have and uh, that is that uh, such a rule is possible only if all the players 
are uh, situated in the hotel where the tournament is played. Uh, but uh, in uh, such circumstances where uh, the hotel is so far from the tournament hall, it is much better to get some tolerance of, let's say, a quarter of an hour. Otherwise, otherwise uh, my, we might have uh, rather unpleasant situations, which are better to be avoided. Hvala ti najljepša na, na ovom kratkom intervju i želim ti puno sreće u nastavku turnira. Hvala. We wish you a lot of luck in, in this tournament and thank you for this interview.